everyone and welcome back to Angie's Catholic Book Reviews. In this video, I will be doing an unpacking and review of the Greek Orthodox prayer book published by St. Andrew's Orthodox Press, I believe, for the Australian uh, Greek Orthodox Archdiocese. So let's, um, let's get started. So, of course, it comes in a bag like this. Then I will rip this open. And then, what I will do, if it's possible, ah, then you actually open it from this side bag actually opens from this side so I will yeah I will rip it open. There we are. And that's this is the contents of the bag and they have I actually uh, bought it from um, Panagia Quick to Hear Monastery in Melbourne, I believe in Geelong. So they gave me a bookmark like this. Uh, here's the monastery name, Panagia Gorgepikus, I think that's how you pronounce it. If I pronounced it wrong, please uh, correct me in the comments. So let's get to the unwrapping of it. So, um, here's the actual book that I got. So I'll cut. I'll cut it on that side to remove the cardboard on this side. And of course I need to cut this. So Don't worry guys, I won't cut myself, but yeah. This is a very tough package to open. Here we are. I finally got it undone. So what I'll do with this outer box is I will Put it back in the package to discard along with the bubble wrap that's wrapping the book. So here is the actual book itself. So what I will do, since there's a gap already here, I can cut through there. to unwrap it. So, done. So here's the actual book. It's a very tiny book. I think it's bilingual, but let me just see if it is bilingual. So the contents of this book are as follows. Yep, it's bilingual. So you've got all the um, all the prayers here. So you've got morning prayers, evening prayers, mealtime prayers, 
um, communion prayers, the tipica, and also occasional prayers. And that's about it. And you've also got on the first page an excerpt from the Ladder of Divine Ascent um, on prayer. So by St. John Climacus. And you've also got a ribbon. Um, as you can see here, but it's very thin. So I think I will like the translation since this is according to the Greek usage the morning prayers and evening prayers are going to be um, a little bit truncated um, a little bit truncated compared to the um, Slavic usage which I haven't done a review of one of their prayer books yet but I've got the Jordanville prayer book which I will do a review on. So it is bilingual, which is good. So you've got Greek on the left and English on the right. I can read some Greek, but not a lot of Greek. So I will learn how to read Greek. So it's got the typica and if you can't make it to divine liturgy on one day like sundays then the typica is the replacement for the divine liturgy and this um this translation is very nice it actually is pretty nice Oh my goodness, I bent the page. I just got it. Lol. So, while I was flipping. So, the following. Ah, so here are some prayers that um, are. that can be said during the Divine Liturgy. And so. You have the, if you want the actual Divine Liturgy, um, then you should go for another prayer book that has it like the Jordanville or like HTM, which I'm planning on getting. Um, even the New Rome Press, which is an Asinite prayer book, it doesn't have the Typica or anything else but it has the paraclesis the hours and stuff like that so if you want that then I will link a review of it in the description for you guys the artwork in here is pretty good so pray that meals like this you've got very nice artwork which is awesome. I'm not fluent in Greek, so I can't speak for the Greek translation, but the English translation of the prayers are very nice. Here's a prayer of St. John Chrysostom. I am not worthy, Master and Lord, that you should enter under the roof of my soul but since you, in your loving kindness, which wish to dwell in me, with courage I approach, you bid me open wide the gates, which you alone have created, that you may enter with loving kindness, as is your nature, that you may enter and enlighten, and enlighten my darkened soul, my darkened mind. I believe that you will do this, for you did not turn away from the harlot. Who approached you with tears you did not reject the tax collector who repented you did not drive away the thief who recognized your kingdom you did not abandon the persecutor who repented of what he was 
but all who were brought to you by repentance, you established in the choir of your friends. You who alone are blessed always, now and to the endless ages. Amen. So that is a very nice translation um, for me. I'm not sure about for others, but if you like the translation, just comment in the description down below. Um, I will see you guys next time um, for another book review, and thank you.